Hi everyone, this is Oren, back with another 4-minute tutorial. Today we're going to tackle some common background noises you get in recordings using Adobe Sound Booth. So what we have that we're going to fix is coughing noises, clicking or lip smacking noises, and plosives, which are those puffs of air you get from P's, B's, and T's, especially into a microphone without a windscreen. Let's get right into our first clip. We have our waveform view up right now, and you can already see that these spikes stand up above the background. Let's play it out. Now, not every recording will show the coughs as clearly as this one. If your music level were higher, these spikes would be buried within the music. So we're going to go over to our spectral view. and You can go down here and double click to pop it open. And the spectral view shows you a colored graph of frequency, which is the height here, or the y-axis, over time, which is the x-axis. And you can see how clearly these coughs stand out <coughs> over the background music. So with most things in the spectral view, if you can see it, you can usually erase it or clean it up. So let's go to our the beginning of our first cough and zoom in with the plus key. You could also drag this slider in if you want to zoom in. And we're going to highlight this as closely as we can just to the noise. And we're going to do an auto heal. I like to adjust my resolution to the slowest, which is the most accurate and I'm going to go ahead and click Auto Heal and let's play that out. Very nice. Now what it did is it sampled the sounds before and after and did kind of like a audio crossfade in the middle. Now healing doesn't work for everything but in most cases it works fairly nice. Let's play the second clip out. Um, in their most exciting times in their lives um, but... Okay, right over here is the problem. But That's a lip smacking or, but or a clicking noise and there's a few ways you could tackle this. Now if you have background noise, which we're lucky enough to have a clean recording, um, you can see how dark it is in some of these frequencies, that means we don't have a lot of background noise, you can take this area and just bring it down quite a bit, that minimizes um, it, but, but you get that little dead air space where you don't have room tone. So we're gonna do another healing on this and I'm gonna zoom in, make sure I'm just getting the right frequencies and you want to make sure that your time selection tool is chosen. So we're getting the entire frequency range top to bottom. Get the smallest area you can and go ahead and heal it. Let's play that back. Um, but okay, now it left a little bit of the background or room tone in there so it sounds more natural. Let's zoom out and play it. But also being able to And that's gone. Great. So being able to help All right, one more fix to do and that's plosives. With this, it's sometimes a little more difficult. Let's play it out. Gift of prophecy. Okay, you can hear it right over here. Prophecy. And you can see it. It's that high energy down in the low frequencies. If we zoom in, we can see there's a really high energy uh, signal over here. And that's what we want to work on. Not necessarily the rest of it, but plosives are very low frequency signals. So instead of healing the entire spectrum, we're just going to lasso the very bottom of this and do a heal on that part. So that's just the bass frequencies. Let's play it out. The gift of prophecy. And away it goes. I have the gift of prophecy. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you soon.